You mentioned if you don't have a prenup, things that you owned before getting married become marital asset. Besides having a prenup, is there any circumstance in which property or things you own before a marriage do not become marital assets? First, you have to make sure you argue that and typically, you know, put it within the complaint that you're looking to preserve things that you brought into the marriage. If you don't argue it, you're not going to get it. You know, it's the same thing in life. If you don't ask for something, the answer is always going to be no. First of all is figuring that out. If somebody has had a long-standing 401k and they've built that up and then they get married, they're still contributing to that 401k, that causes it to become marital property. But if you have a good lawyer, what the argument should be is that it should only be the value from the date of the marriage and the increase Mm -hmm. that gets split and try to cipher off and reserve the amount that was in there. One of the things, if you're getting married, you should be printing off any statements of financials that you have, you know, to show exactly where they are. Because I've run into situations where long-term marriage, you know, they can't necessarily go back and prove what was in their 401k or in their accounts because maybe now they've rolled over a couple times. 